Okay, let's get into the entertainment news. We start off with this one. Bonaboy turns down protest request. The Nigerian artist Bonaboy has turned down human rights activist and politician Omo Yele Showere's invitation, where he was called to join a planned anti-government protest. It all started when the former presidential candidate sent out the invitation um, via a tweet in which he indicated how Bonaboy has been described as the revolutionary musician, thereby comparing him to the late music legend Fela Kuti. He tweeted on a quote, Hello at Bonner Boy. Everywhere I turn, people describe you as a revolutionary musician. The foreign media even celebrates you, compare you to Fela Kuti, but I'm yet to see you lead anyone to a police station carrying a coffin for head of state. Join hashtag October 1st protest, hashtag revolution now. Bonaboy, however, replied Omoyele Shore is dismissing the invitation and insisting that all politicians are the same. He wrote, and I quote, When Fela was alive, the very people he was fighting for are the ones who put him through the real hell. People even stayed away from my mother's family for associating with Fela. They killed his mother, and most Nigerians said he deserved it. Everybody is a Fela fan and supporter now that he is dead. Humans are funny. You politicians are all the same, especially in Nigeria. And frankly, I don't trust none of you. As Yele Shoure, Bona then concluded by writing, as Yele Shoure, well, I'm not fella. I have said that countless times, but you, sir, are a politician. Leave me out of your schemes. Thanks. Ladies. So I saw <clears throat> this particular one and it was going back and forth on Twitter. People had a lot to say and uh, well, <laughs> I thought about it like, okay, so people started saying different things. Some people said, oh, you'll be using Fela style. Oh, your performance one time, you wore pants. And now it is time for you to do the real Fela to, you know, have the spirit of, <laughs> you know, activism and all that in you. And then you're shying away from it. But then I think that people are individuals and they are different. If he likes Fela's music, if his grandfather was Fela's manager and, you know, he grew up listening to Fela's music, and he decided to do something uh, about it or with it and then you're now saying that he showed we know that fella did a lot and yeah. you, you can't actually really compare anybody to fella really mm -hmm. in the true sense of mm -hmm. it but he's saying that he's not interested and maybe because of because i thought about it and i'm like maybe because of some of the uh, songs in his album yeah yeah even you know the, where he had to talk about niger delta i had to talk about nigeria made, yeah. but i think again that uh, you don't have to carry coffee on your head or do some stuff before they know that you are actually uh, you know, patriotic. There are so many things you can do, like with your music, and he has done that mm -hmm. with his music. But he is an individual. He can say that he's not interested, and he can say that he's interested. I don't think that it is by force. It's well, I'm not blaming uh, Showaray too. Yeah. Like, you can put it to him, and if he agrees, but if he does not agree, there so, is no wahala. So this whole situation is just funny. Um, I just find it... I find Showaray's approach, calling funny. a Bonner boy, as him gaslighting Bonner boy. Yeah. Okay from the caption like, and they say you are, the foreign media describe you as, oh yeah, show now. Yeah, why now? If it, yeah, it's more like gaslighting. If it's like, yo, we're doing this, so we'll like you. To be a like part of, of it. Yeah. That's You're what challenging I just, it That's publicly. just what I think about this. But it's just dicey. People are in support, people are against, that even Bonaboy drop mustache you made, calling everybody coward that stand for your rights, they, they, they fight for this. Oh yeah, come on, I don't know. I beg me not. See, afraid. it's something that Yoruba people will say. You want to fight, but then at the end of the day, I need lati for you, like you Is have she? to protect yourself, yeah. literally. Because as he said, yeah, you're calling me to come and do this thing. Last, last, these same people, they really want to drag me. <laughs> I remember one time when Two Face was saying, oh, let's go and protest hey. and everything. On Twitter, everybody get power. The day came. <laughs> then nothing happened. Please. <laughs> Forget it. Don't let Twitter people go and put you inside the deal. <laughs> Twitter is a one on his own. Like, just day or day. And I totally, totally agree with him. Let him do what he wants to do. Oh God, if you want to do your thing, do your thing. Let me do my music. His music, me, I can use to address the people. Let's do the music. Any other thing, don't bring me. I think it, it, he was trying to be manipulative. That's honest truth. Sure, he was trying to be manipulative. Like, oh God, oh yeah, I'm challenging you. Bring it on. Let's do this together. Crazy. That's, That's not how you get someone on your side. Interesting stuff. I just think that in different ways, we can always just do our beats yeah. about mm -hmm. Nigeria and being. Because I've always said this, and I'll say it over and over again. Even if you're a cleaner, see yourself as a leader. Mm -hmm. yeah. See. Leadership is about influence. Whether you're cleaning, whether you are the CEO, whether you're an accountant, in your space, own it and do the right thing. At that point, we will move forward. Mm. I think that's just it. Absolutely.